Hello everyone, this is the series 1 of the Dynamic Dashboard with Power BI. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a dynamic text and headings with DAX in Power BI. Let's jump into it. If you look at my screen right here, most of us usually have these headings in our report and then when you click some few slices in your report, your headings still remain the same, right? For example, I'm clicking on company one right now and my dashboard changed, but nothing happened to my heading. But sometimes when you want your report to be more interactive so that your management or your user or whoever is looking at this report can easily see the slices that were selected and can also see different other slices that were selected and what this report is actually saying. So it is always advisable to have a dynamic headings or a dynamic text that will give more information to your users. Can we start? So what we are going to do, we'll remove this dynamic text, this ordinary text, this static text that we have here. This is just an ordinary text box. We'll remove this and we'll create a dynamic headings with Power BI. So the first thing I will do, I'll come to my field and I'll create a new measure. So I'll right click on financials and say new measure new measure interesting i have my new measure here and i can start writing the measures i'm going to call the name of my measure dynamic heading let me just call it dynamic heading dynamic dynamic heading right so what i'm writing in this heading i want to be able to show the report type so if you look at my dashboard down here i have different slicers than here in my headings i want to see the year that was selected i also want to see the company that was selected and also the sub company right so i'm going to write a simple dax measures and what i'm going to do basically i'm going to use a function called selected value in dax selected value allows you to select a particular value from a list of um categories so I'm going to type a function called selected value, right? And this is selected value. Now, selected value is going to go to the calendar table and pick year. So what I'm saying is anytime somebody picks something from the year, right? I want you to show this, right? Now, after showing this, I want to use an appersand to join things, right? To join different texts. So I'm going to use the and sign, which is the ampersand, right? I'm going to put a quote here to put a space and maybe a pipe just to separate my filters, right? I'm going to put a pipe here. I'm going to put a pipe, put a space again, and also a quote, right? So I'm going to put another hand sign to join another, um, another category. Now, the next category I'm joining is the company. I also want to see this filter when somebody selects a company. I'm going to use the same measure, selected value, right? Selected value, right? In my selected value, when somebody selects a company, right? So that's company. There's a column pro company in my report. When somebody selects a company, I'm going to close my bracket for this selected value. Also going to add, add percent because I'm still adding another category. So I'm going to put uh, a quote here as well so that I can add a text pipe to separate my filters, right? And I'm adding and again to do another selected value. I also want to be able to see the sub company that was selected. So I'll do selected value and add sub company to this, right? So when somebody selects sub company for my filter, let me close my brackets, press enter, and let's see how this looks in my report. All right, so I have my measures. So what I'm going to do now, I will remove this tactic text box and use a card visual in, instead. So I can come here and pick a card visual, right? So I'll pick a card visual, put it here, and put my measure inside it. So remember I call my measure dynamic heading. I'm going to tick this right now and have my dynamic heading here. Interesting. So I have my dynamic heading right as a visual here i can do a little bit of formatting by going to my format pane here and then i'll remove the category label 
remove the category label and we also change the color of my slicer to white yeah just in the color of my card to white now if you look at these headings now it's typically showing the years that was selected so i selected 2020 from the list if i change this 2020 to 2019 let's see if my report also change as well yeah it does my slides also change and this is showing 2019 company one that's because i'm selecting company one here let me select company two for example yes and my editing change now i can also select the sub company and let's see what happened there all right so i have 2019 company two efg limited right so another thing I can add to this is maybe a report. I can add reports to this. Instead of just showing like this, I can go to my dynamic editing and then add something at the back of the, the last argument, which is just another appersand, put another quote. I would put a space and just type report. So at the end of at the end of the text, there should always be report. So if you look at my headings now, let's see. This is 2019 company 2 EFG limited report, right? So you can mm. see that dynamic edit. Another interesting thing I could also do is uh, something like, um, for example, what if none of this company is selected, right? So what if I didn't select any company? That means I want to see the consolidated report of all the organizations, right? That's what I want to see. So let me unselect this company too, and let's see what's going to happen to my dynamic edit. Typically, my dynamic editing is showing nothing here. So it's only showing 2019-25 reports, right? And this doesn't make any sense, right? So I can also amend my dynamic editing to show consolidated reports instead, right? So my 2 pipe won't be blank. So let's go a little bit to my formula and do some little bit of adjustment. So I can go to my dynamic editing right here. So now this particular argument where I select company, I can amend it a little bit by adding an if statement. By adding an if statement. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the back of this place where I have selected company. And I'm going to add um, if, if statement here. Right? I'm going to add if here. All right. So I just add if. Now, what is my if is doing now? If this company is blank, I am not selecting anything. If you are not selecting any company, then I want you to put consolidated report, right? I'm going to use another measure called is blank, right? Is blank. So if the company is blank, that's what I'm doing here. If the company, right? If this particular company selected body is blank, let me close my bracket for is blank here. So when you select the company and it's blank, what do you want me to do, right? I'll put a comma. Once the company is blank, I want you to add uh, uh, something called consolidated reports. I'm going to put a pipe and say consolidated, consolidated, right? Put a space and put another code. So I want consolidated reports. Now, what if it's not blank? If it's not blank, then I want you to do the initial argument, which is selected value, which is selected, selected value. Oh, sorry, I picked selected measure. I want selected value, right? Which is selected value of the company, right? Of company, selected value of company. Let me close my bracket for this. Now, look at my if statement again. If selected company is blank, then I want you to replace it with consolidated, right? If not, then I want you to pick a selected value, right? Showing consolidated. So if I hit enter now, let's see how my dynamic heading is going to look like. All right, so if you look at my dynamic heading now, typically you can now see 2019 consolidated reports. Right, and that's because I'm not selecting anything because I've used an if statement. Let me select company one for example. So if I select company one from this slicer, you will notice that the consolidated has changed to 2019 company one report. Right, but let me unselect company one again. 
then you will see 2019 consolidated report. Another thing you can also do, so people like to also add the date that their report was actually refreshed or the date that their report was last um, uh, updated, right? So you can do another dynamic heading that shows report as at the day. That means that is maybe if your uh, data is set to auto refresh or maybe you are connecting directly using the direct query. So you can say, let me say dynamic um, tests, right? Dynamic tests. And what I'm doing here, I'm just basically typing a test that shows report as at. I'm sure a lot of us use Excel, right? And in Excel, remember, I'm adding a percent again, and then I am joining things here. So remember, in Excel, you usually use a function called now or today, right? So I'm going to use a function called today right here and enter. So what I'm showing in this uh, dynamic text is simply showing report as at today, right? Report as at today. So if I go to my reports now and I pick a slicer, a, a card actually, not a slicer, so a card, and I put my dynamic test in here. All right, interesting. So look at this. I can go to format and format this a little bit, switch out the category, change the color to white, reduce the size of the test to maybe um, 15. All right, awesome. So technically, you can see this dynamic event. So this is basically showing report as at today. That means anytime you open this report, it's going to show you this report as at today. So your audience is going to see the last time this report was um, uh, updated, right? So that is what I want to show you about dynamic editing today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and click the notification button because I'm going to be dropping a lot of videos on dynamic dashboard series. This is just series one. I'm dropping a lot of video very soon. Thank you for watching the video.